All right, YouTubers, it's cooking time. I'm gonna start with, this is that perfect tortilla thing. Uh, um, what I'm getting ready to make, I saw somewhere, and I'm gonna try to modify it in a way that'll work. All right, we're making breakfast. First thing we have is ham. All right, this is gonna be a little different. Never made it before, but so we are gonna take, take this ham and we're gonna line this around the bottom. Okay. You can do this in your RV or in your house. In a regular oven, and hopefully, because I haven't done before, in a new wave oven. So seems to be working. I wasn't sure. Um, if you're looking for healthy, this n might not be totally healthy, but hey, it's not an everyday thing, and some people like this stuff. All right, I think that's plenty of ham. And next we have some sharp cheddar. I'll take this cheddar and put cheddar in there. I don't know how much. Yeah. This is definitely not going to be an everyday thing. <laughs> okay. So about that much. I think that looks like a good amount of cheese. And next we have some eggs. And recently I made another video on making fire starters. And people were like, where do you get the, the cardboard ones? Well, Aldi sells them, but I'm sure there's a lot of places that do. So what we're going to do now, I'm just going to put an egg in it. One egg, two egg, wonder if I should put a third egg in there. I think two is enough. I'll we'll get the new wave mini and I'm just doing a guesstimation here. So I'll try to get it lower. I'll put that in. See there. And when you use a new wave mini and the new wave, it defaults to 350 degrees. Um, if you go into power level and, and turn them down, you can use the card to see lower power levels if you don't want 350. But I'm going to do 350. I'm going to do about 20 minutes. And uh, I'm going to keep an eye on it. So there it goes. So we got six minutes left. It's looking good. It's smelling fantastic. You can see that thin ham. If I would have had thicker ham, it might work a little bit better because the thin ham has charred a little bit on top and really shrunk back. But got to make sure those eggs get done. So we'll see how this turns out. It smells fantastic. But again, if I were to do this again or to give you advice, maybe a little thicker cut ham than just that thin, thinly sliced lunch meat probably made a bad decision on which ham to buy. But you learn. You live, you learn. Alright, so there we go. It's all done. Get you closer. Like I said, probably could have used a little bit thicker ham, but the cheese probably should have protected the bottom, but it smells fantastic. I let it cool for a second, but it's still pretty hot. Let's get a plate. Actually, I'm going to use a bowl in case it makes a mess. Okay, so you can get it out of there. All right, there we go. Came out nice and easy. I'm gonna put a little garlic powder on the top. A little bit of pepper. And now, I'm gonna cut into it. All right. There we go. Hmm. That's pretty good. Again, eggs, ham, and cheese, probably not the healthiest thing in the world for you, but it tastes good. All right there, YouTubers, try something a little different. Have a great and wonderful day.